Hello friends, welcome to Jay Academy. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to generate a hash tree from the candidate item set. Now, I am going to see you how the hashing of candidate item set of level 1 and level 2 that we have done in the enumeration of subset is done with the hash tree. Okay. So we have this hash tree that is done in the previous video and what is being done is the transaction item is hashed with this hash tree such that all the candidate item which is a part of the transaction will be traversed in this hash tree okay and also level 1 that is the first item is has to the hash tree okay similarly 1 1 uh, 1 plus and then the box 2 3 5 6 it has to this part so whenever any combination of the first item with these items can be traversed through this point similarly 2 plus it has to this point so any combination with 2 3 5 or 2 5 6 those candidate items that can be found from this point Again, 3 plus is has to here so that all the combination of the candidate item starting with 3 can be found from this point. So that is level 1 hashing is done. Next, level 2 hashing is done with the next item. Okay, the first item is 1. Okay, and the next item is 2. So you know where is the location of 1. When we want to hash 2, we will come here. Okay, so at this point, if you want to hash the 1 3, you have to come to this branch, and 1 5, you have to come here. Okay, so using this value, you can easily hash the entire, uh, you can access the entire hash tree, as well as you can calculate the support count from the bucket. That's all, guys, with respect to the support count in the hash tree. Bye bye. In the next video, I will tell you about the topic on complexity in a priori algorithm. Bye bye.